If you're interested in building an e-commerce brand in 2023, then you have a decision ahead of you. Which platform should you use? Now, there are a huge amount of platforms available, but at the end of the day, there are two options that should be at the top of your list. Shopify and WooCommerce. So first things first, what are they? If you've never heard of WooCommerce before, you'll certainly have heard of its host platform, WordPress, the world's most popular content management system in use on over 455 million websites. WooCommerce is a free plugin that integrates with WordPress. That means that any platform that can run WordPress should be able to run a WooCommerce site. This and the fact that it's open source means that WooCommerce is incredibly flexible and can pretty much fit any need that you have. On top of that, it also has a massive user base, meaning that if you need assistance, there are a ton of help forums and people who can support you with this as well. Shopify, on the other hand, is a purpose-built all-in-one e-commerce platform where you don't necessarily have the flexibility of WooCommerce. Instead, you have a platform that is streamlined and perfect to get your store up and running quickly. So let's take a deep dive into the differences between those two options. As I mentioned before, WooCommerce and Shopify are hosted on completely different types of platforms. WooCommerce is very flexible. It can basically run on any WordPress installation, which means that anywhere that can run WordPress can run WooCommerce. This level of flexibility means you aren't limited to one hosting solution. If you aren't happy with your current host or you're looking to explore different solutions, with WooCommerce, you can simply back up your site and take it with you. If you're looking to see how to back up a WordPress site, I've got a guide right here just for you. In comparison, Shopify is a purpose-built solution and is hosted entirely on Shopify's platform. It does mean that the platform is purpose-built, so it should work really well. But if you do decide that you want to move your site and part ways, you won't be able to take your site with you. You'd have to create the website again from scratch because any site created on Shopify can only work on a Shopify platform. What this really means is that if you get invested in Shopify, you're pretty much a captive audience because without serious disruption, you aren't moving anywhere else. This leads us nicely onto pricing. WooCommerce at a base level is completely free. The costs involved would be if you are paying for the backend hosting or potentially purchasing premium add-ons, themes, plugins, that kind of thing. Shopify is more straightforward. It's not free and you will be paying a package cost for any website that you have with Shopify. You do get some free plugins with Shopify, but actually a lot of the plugins and a lot of the themes are paid add-ons. So it's worth keeping in mind that even though you're coming in with an entry fee, you may actually end up spending more money for what you need. Performance is key in retaining site visitors and performing conversions. No one's gonna sit and wait for a site that's taking ages to load. For that reason, performance should be a very important consideration here. Performance for WooCommerce is dependent on a lot of factors, whether that be the back-end specifications of the server it's running on, or the amount of plugins that are running on this WordPress site, or the amount of items that are in your store. There are many variables that can all attribute to a slower performing WordPress site, and therefore a slower WooCommerce platform. Now, the good bit about WooCommerce is that if it does turn out that the issue is your back-end server, you can simply up sticks and move. There's nothing preventing you from backing up your site and moving it somewhere else. It does, however, mean that you might have to spend a bit more time optimizing your website and finding the right host for you. Again, with Shopify, because it's a purpose-built platform, the chance of actually seeing any performance issues are fairly low. One big difference here is that because Shopify is on a closed platform, if there are fixes that need to be made, you won't be able to do them yourself. You'll need to wait for Shopify support to do this for you. As I said, chances are you're not gonna run into any issues, but it's worth keeping in mind that any issues you do see might take a lot longer to fix than being able to just log into your WooCommerce site and fix the back end yourself. Now, I've been banging on about the flexibility that WooCommerce can provide you. And the same goes here for scalability as well. A WooCommerce site isn't limited in any way by its package type or anything like that. Its limiting factors will be the specifications that the website has. This means that you can pretty much start as small as you want. And if you do need to scale your site, you can simply switch provider or get your package upgraded. It's very simple, very easy, and doesn't require a lot of work on your end to get sorted. With Shopify, you can scale up, but you are limited to the packages that Shopify provide. This means that you may end up paying for a package that's actually bigger than what you need, just because there isn't a smaller package that will actually work for you. In comparison with WooCommerce, you literally can pay for exactly what you need and scale up whenever you want.
Whilst e-commerce has grown dramatically in recent times, so too has cybercrime. Research indicates that up to 70% of small businesses are completely unprepared for a cyber attack. Therefore, it should be a top priority to make sure that your e-commerce store is secure as possible. As I've said pretty much throughout this entire video, WooCommerce is a very flexible platform. But that flexibility becomes a little bit of an issue when it comes to security. WordPress and by extension WooCommerce has its own security features built in. And you'll also benefit from the security features given to you by your hosting provider. However, when it comes to necessary updates like WordPress updates, plugin updates, and so on, normally with these kind of providers, it's up to you to manage that. Now you may be with a managed provider who can do these updates for you, but chances are that's gonna cost you a bit more money on top anyway. Shopify, on the other hand, lets you be pretty much hands off. Shopify do all of their own updates, all of their own security patches. Because it's a closed platform, the chance of being compromised are quite low. Now, when it comes to available plugins and apps, WooCommerce pretty much wins this entire category hands down. The fact that it's built on WordPress means that there's an absolute treasure trove of plugins available, both free and paid, depending on what your needs are. For WooCommerce, there are over 700 specific extensions available. So that's plugins that are specific for WooCommerce. And on top of that, there are over 59,000 WordPress plugins available. Now, not all of them are gonna work on a WooCommerce site, but the vast majority will and provide you a much higher level of customizability and flexibility. Shopify does also have plugins, and in this case, they are known as apps, and they have a library of over 7,000 of these apps available. Now, most of these are paid add-ons, but there are some free options available as well. Now, everyone wants their store to look good and feel unique, but you probably don't want to have to be a web developer or pay a web developer to get there. Both WooCommerce and Shopify have no code editors available, basically a drag and drop system that means that you can pick a theme and then customize it as you want. The big difference here is the amount of these building block themes that are available to use. WooCommerce has a variety of themes available, both paid and free, but the real wealth here comes from the 9,000 free WordPress themes that are available to use. And that's not even including the paid themes that you can also buy as well. Shopify, on the other hand, has a much more restricted amount of themes available. 93 in total, and only nine of those are free. Of course, you do have access to the no-code editor, so you can pick any of those nine themes for free and edit it to be what you need. But that's still far less than what you can get with WordPress. Now, there's not much point in setting up an online store if you can't take payments. And both options have a variety of solutions available here. WooCommerce has an inbuilt solution available that allows you to quickly set up payment methods with cards, Apple Pay, Google Pay, and so on. The caveat here is that this is not a free solution. For every transaction, you are charged 1.4% plus 20 pence. Now, if that doesn't work for you, there are a variety of third-party options available, but they may incur their own costs. Shopify actually has a different approach here. Shopify payments is included as a part of any package and allows you to take payments with no added costs. If this solution doesn't work for you, whether that be because it doesn't support the payment method that you need or for any other reason, there are third-party options available, but these do incur costs. This ranges from 1.5% plus 25p for the most expensive package and 2% plus 25 pence for the cheapest package. So after all of that comparison, what are we left with? Which one is the best solution for you? Well, the cheating answer here is that actually it really depends on your situation. But the honest answer is that's true. Both Shopify and WooCommerce can work for different situations and may suit different people based on their needs. So to actually give you an answer, let's actually take a look at some of these different scenarios. Now, if you're happy to put in a little bit of work to try and see how this all works, maybe it's a hobby or a side hustle, then WooCommerce is probably a good solution to start with. This will let you get your feet wet and get an idea of how this all works, how e-commerce works and how you can get started with your business. That being said, if you are looking to just get set up straight away, you have a business and you're ready to go, you just want to get selling, Shopify offers a much more streamlined solution. For that starting business, using WooCommerce means that you can pretty much scale up as much as you need. And if you need to move to a new host or anything like that, you can very easily pack up and move whenever you want. Shopify is more of a commitment, which means that you want to be sure that this is the right solution for you and how you want to proceed. Now, if you are in a situation where you're looking to set up a WooCommerce site, I would definitely recommend getting in touch with FastHost and get in touch with our support team. So I hope this has given you a bit of an idea of which way to go and maybe a bit more information to work with when it comes to making this decision. As ever, if you have any questions, 
please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And like I said, I hope this video has been helpful. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. GPT is free, it's pretty easy to use, and it's what we would recommend to use in terms of getting into SSH for pretty much anything. Grab the host name, put that in to the file.